Welcome to another edition of Talking Models. Today we're going to be doing a painting tutorial on this beautiful kit of Mac Ready from The Thing from Another World. A beautiful movie from John Carpenter. If you haven't seen this film, where you been? Give it a give it a look. Just an awesome film. That is one of my favorites and I'm glad to have it in my collection. But today we're going to look at this kit. This kit was a Jaeger membership exclusive, number four. The kit sold 100 copies and is uh, the run is done. There may be another small limited run, but uh, if you keep your eyes on the Jaeger membership Facebook page, Mike Calvert and Paul Gill will update you if that is going to come to pass. They're still getting out to 100 kits as we speak. So this is Mac Ready. Can you believe it? Beautiful kit sculpted by Mr. Jeff Yeager and part of the exclusive. If you're not a membership card holder, you won't be able to get these beautiful kits when they come out. If you want to join the Yeager membership, the cards are $15 and you can send a email to shadowcreations at gmail.com boom and you and you will get a card sent out to you and become part of the Jaeger army you remember the kiss army well this is the Jaeger army bro so get on board so let's talk about what I did today to bring MacReady to life are you ready are you ready yeah let's go I started by priming the kit with Rust-Oleum Gray Primer and the hands and face were primed with Badger Stylores Gray. Now I started with the base. What I like about these kits with the base, these quarter scales, is you can separate them so I can do the base and then put some paper towel over the base, put the kit on top and then paint the kit. So with that said, let's go. I base coated the base using Freak Flex Banshee's Shadow Gray and highlighted the raised areas on the base using Freak Flex Turned Ghost White. Now for the nameplate area, I used Comart Transparent Royal Blue for that and Freak Flex Dead Guy Gray was used for the ship that's on the side. Now I hit the sign area using Garage US Iridescent Blue and all the iced areas on the base were both base coated with using Garage US Pale Blue and then misted the blue areas once again using the iridescent blue and another misting using the transparent royal blue. That way I was building up my blues of the cold and the snow, just getting the base to where my mind seen it going. I added uh, snow effects uh, using Freak Flex Turn Ghost White on uh, sporadically on the base you'll see that Jeff has the snow sculpted in and also wanted to get some of that on the ship like it's been in there and it's snowed afterward and it really uh, really does the job when you're using them transparency and iridescence so the snow effects was used or using the Freak Flex Turn Ghost White and then of course at this time I uh, dry brush more highlights using Delta Serene Coat Antique White and believe it or not, the base was done. On to MacReady. I base coated the face and hands using Freak Flex Suntan Flesh and highlighted using Model Master Basic Flesh. And then I shaded the lips and areas below the eyes using the Garage US Transparent Mars Red. That way I'm starting to build up the, some distressed look to the face like a rosy cheek, he, you know, they are in sub-zero temperatures. So I'm trying to uh, simulate so many different things within the face. Now I base coated the hair and beard using Delta Serene Coat Dark Burnt Umber. Now that I have the face going, I've got the hair in, now I, it will help me judge more where I'm going on the face once I see the hair color. Now the body was base coated using Sargent's Acrylic Ivory Black and that way it just again starts tying everything together you know I've got the body done the hairs in the face is going we're living the American dream 
Now back to the face. I highlighted the face using Garage US Garage Kit Flesh and then of course more shading to the face using the transparent Mars Red. Now the hair was dry brush using Apple Barrel Burnt Umber and then I lightened up the original color, the Apple uh, Burnt Umber and used some Freak Flex Turn Ghost White and then I dry brushed in more of the highlights to the hair. That way I have the original color and then I have a natural lightening of the color by using the same color and adding some whites. I then shaded the hair using Garage US Transparent Rich Brown, that way it kind of quieted it down. And at that point, you might have to do a little another dry brushing of the hair, play with the uh, transparent wash, just back and forth until you uh, get the highlights that you're looking for. At this point, I added more highlights to the face using Transparent Mars Red. I painted in the eyes at this point using Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan. And then, of course, painted in the eyes using Freak Flex Body Bag Black. Now for the shirt, I base coated that using Freak Flex Arterial Blue. The hood uh, was painted with a Thixia Blue and shade it using Garage US Transparent Dark Brown and highlight it using Freak Flex Road Buried Alive. So it's just, again, you've got the base coat on your jacket and then you start uh, coming in and you start shading it uh, bringing out different browns and highlighting it with browns. Now I added more highlights to the jacket and this time I pulled out some Buried Alive Brown and just started getting a little closer with the airbrush and so that different color kind of pops out and separates the browns. Now I pulled out some of that uh, Freak Flex Turn Ghost White to uh, simulate the snow on the jacket and Freak Flex Silver Bullet for the zipper on the jacket. And that was the body's done. Wow, man, you're kidding me, Troy. Nope, it's truth, man. On to the arms. The jacket areas on the arms were done using the same process for the jacket. Uh, the canister that he's holding in his hand was base coated using Freak Flex Dead Guy Gray. And for the blood area inside the canister, because you remember from the film, he's testing the blood for a reaction to see if the thing is part of the group. And I uh, base coated. Uh, that using Freak Flex Dried Blood Red and shade it using Garage US Transparent Red Oxide. Now uh, the copper wires were base coated using Garage US Pearl Deep Gold. Now I also came back in at this point and I added some Garage US Garage Kit Flesh and tongue for the fingernails. So I took the flesh and the tongue mixed it up and that's how I got the color for his fingernails. And at this point, I highlighted the hands using Freak Flex Suntan Flesh and some shading using Transparent Mars Red and Blue Pastel for the veining on the hands. Now I came back in and highlighted the blood using Garage US True Red and then, of course, uh, quieted down using more shading using the Transparent Mars Red. Now at this point, I missed it the hands with a uh, Freak Flex suntan flush diluted with water and just kind of held back, you know, probably six, seven inches and just shot it. That way it kind of ties everything together. So uh, then I was able to come back in and add some final highlighting to the hands using the Model Colors Basic Skin Tone and final highlights to the blood using Freak Flex Burnt Offering Red. And guess what, guys? The kit was done. So, Mac Reedy, the thing from another world, Jeff Yeager. What an exclusive number four for all you card holders. But this is the bad boy. If you've gotten one of these, you're lucky enough to get one of these, I'm telling you, paint her up. Be happy. You've got a landmark hit right here, guys. The scene when he's testing blood from the film. Maybe it was Blair. Who knows? On a side note, Jeff Yeager is releasing Blair in transformation with the Thing hands. That is not a Yeager exclusive. So if you want one of those, reach out to Paul Gill and I'll put his information in right now and tell him that you heard about Blair on Talking Models and you want one. And then you can uh, 
maybe ask him his plans for re-releasing a limited run of these kits for Jaeger card members. So that's our review today on Talking Models. Mac Reedy doing his job, keeping the camp safe from this thing from another world. Now, if you haven't subscribed to Talking Models, this is your chance. Door. Thank you, Alexa. Hit that subscribe button, and boom, you're in. So thanks again today for tuning in to Talking Models. I pray that you have a great day, and as always, may the Lord bless your day.